Okay. So what are the event? Is it okay to just have vegetables that are starch free? So yeah. So if what you, what I encourage people to do is usually you don't want to ever um, negate whole food groups. Um, but you definitely want to incorporate more of the non-starchy vegetables more often. So like I tell people to fill half of their plate with non-starchy vegetables. Um, so that could be anything from like broccoli, cauliflower, kale, um, spinach, peppers and onion, I mean it, it, salads, like it could be a lot of those. I'll tell you the starchy ones in a minute, it's easier to do it that way. So half of the plate is the non-starchy vegetables. So that's going to be, um, your, your meal itself is going to be lower in carbohydrates. Not that carbohydrates are bad for us, it's just people tend to be over consuming them or over consuming the wrong types of them. So they're usually having things like soda or, or cookies or cakes or, um, you know, sugar in their coffee or like, you know, Starbucks frappuccinos or whatever it is, right? Um, but so when you fill up half of your plate with the non-starchy vegetables, you're getting carbohydrates, but you're not getting an excessive amount of them. And then you would fill the other quarter of your plate with protein, about that palm-sized piece of, say, like chicken or fish. Um, and then the other quarter would be your starch. So that could be in a form of a starchy vegetable, or it could be in a form of a starch like brown rice, quinoa, um, whole grain bread, whole grain pasta, something like that. Starchy vegetables are corn, peas, potatoes, and like your winter squashes, like butternut squash or, or spaghetti squash. Um, so they are yucca is another one. Um, they act great as a replacement for something like rice. If you're someone who, not that you can't have rice, but if you tend to over consume rice, you know, maybe we just do, um, you know, instead of having rice every night with dinner, we have it every other night, and the other nights we have something like a baked sweet potato or um, spaghetti squash, you know, something like that.